it's a beautiful day here in our little town of Green, Iowa. Um, the sun's shining, uh, snow's melting, and here at Coyote Classics, we have a very busy day. Um, we have to move all the cars out of the showroom because uh, we just happened to sell this Ford Sunliner here. Um, so we got to pull everything out. But before we do that, I wanted to kind of show you the, the amazing cars that we got. Um, so I'll keep it brief, but I want to go around and kind of uh, tell you about these cars. Alright, so this Sunliner um, is actually the one that sold. Um, it's going to Ohio, and the gentleman that's getting it is going to be um, nothing but pleased. Uh, this car is immaculate, it's amazing. Uh, it's actually probably the most prestigious car that we've had in our inventory. Uh, it won the National Ford Show, uh, was restored to win the National Ford Show, everything original. Uh, the original black and gold color scheme, uh, black and gold interior. It's got a, a three-speed manual on the column, but it has overdrive too. Uh, power convertible top. Um, it's got the, the sundial, uh, speedometer. And the car is just 100% show quality. It's just fantastic. Sat in the Ford Museum for um, actually two or three years before it was uh, sold to Barrett Jackson and, and held in a private collection. They put all the, the original stickers on in the places that they should. Uh, they kept the six volt battery and they just did everything right. Um, it's just a fabulous car. Uh, this one is, uh, is actually heading to Ohio. Another car that we have here is just absolutely beautiful. Um, is this 1960 uh, Ford Thunderbird. It's just a beautiful car. Um, and the coolest thing about this car is it actually has a factory sunroof. I'll get a glimpse of this, but this is a super rare option. Uh, and in 1960, they only made like 2,500 um, T-Birds with this factory sunroof. Um, so very rare option, uh, very stylish. I love the color. Um, this is another one that was I mean, meticulously restored uh, from the interior to the exterior to the chrome. Um, everything is just show quality and beautiful on this car. Probably the most interesting thing we have in our showroom and probably the most interesting thing we have on our lot today um, is this, I don't know how to explain it, it's just a beautiful car, meticulously restored. Um, it's a 23T bucket. The amount of chrome that is on this car is absurd. Um, it has a 383 stroker, crate motor, it's been chromed out, 700R4 transmission. This one we took in on trade uh, for our 1969 Chevelle. Um, we got this out of northern Nebraska, uh, southern South Dakota. Beautiful car. We were told that the restorer had over $60,000 in the restoration. And looking at this car and the detail that was put into it, um, it's 100% believable. And there is the only, there's not a thing on this car uh, that's not chromed, um, except for the, of course, the carpet, uh, the body with the black paint, um, the dash, but even the fire extinguisher, uh, they went ahead and chromed it. And so this is just a, a super radical car. Um, beautiful. Suspension, chromed all the suspension, the springs, the brakes. Um, I mean, the car is probably, it's the nicest tea bucket that I have ever seen. I mean, the nicest one that's on the market. Another car that, that we have that's just phenomenal is this 58 Impala 41,000 original mile car. Um, we believe it's been repainted once. The interior is original, motor, transmission, and that's all original. And just in, in show quality, fantastic condition. Uh, this car was another one that we took in on trade. Um, we got it, um, took it in for our 62 Corvette uh, that we had. This is just a, a beautiful car. I love the interior schemes on these, on these Impalas. Um, and as you know, 58 was a, um, only a one year body style. And they're super hard to find. You don't see many of them around. With the original owner's manual. But the car is just original and in pristine condition. Last but not least um, is our gold 1969 Chevelle Super Sport. Um, all numbers matching, documented SS. I mean, this car was restored to be exactly how it left the factory. 
um, except for it does have a vintage air conditioning system. Other than that, it's, it's exactly how it left the factory, um, but it's been meticulously restored. At 69, there's no way of telling if it's a true super sport unless um, you have this very piece of, very important piece of information here, um, and that is the original build sheet, original window sticker, all these original documents. I mean, displayed in, in a I mean, great way. Uh, but this car is astonishing. I love the color, I love the stripes. Um, and to just kind of prove how quality they did the restoration and how much detail they went into. Um, even the tires, uh, the wide oval low tires, that is what this car was ordered with and that is what they put on it when they restored it. Uh, the parchment interior, we believe that to be the original interior. Uh, unrestored and it's in just awesome shape. Uh, the odometer is like 90,000 miles and uh, I'm guessing that's the original miles to the car. Um, like I said, it has been restored. That's 396, automatic on the column, vintage air, beautiful paint, beautiful car. This is kind of what we got in our showroom right now. Of course, it's all gonna uh, get switched up in just a little bit here uh, when we pull that Sunliner out and get that ready for shipping. Thank you guys for watching um, and stay tuned for, for more videos like this. Um, and of course, we have our walk around videos that we do on every car that uh, we have here. Um, those go into great detail about the cars. There's one on everyone that's in the showroom as well as every car that's on our lot um, and in our storage. So be sure to go check those out and, and go to our website for more information. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.